All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little talking today. Can you hear the music in the background? Let's clean that up just a smidge here. I wanna talk about video games on the channel because this is going to be a gaming channel as well. So, what you hear in the background is the save room theme for Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. That's the game series I want to talk about today. So, when I grew up playing video games, I grew up on like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Contra, and Sonic the Hedgehog, Mario. But then, PlayStation 1 comes out in 1995. And what game do I discover? Resident Evil 2. And I got the first one from a pawn shop for like five bucks. My dad got it for me. And he comes in my room and he's like, I got something for you here. Maybe you'll enjoy this. And he throws me a copy of the original Resident Evil 1 on PS1. <coughs> now, I played this game. <laughs> I didn't know anything about the story. And I'm walking around the mansion trying to figure it out. And getting eaten alive by zombies and all this stuff. And I was like, what do you do? What's the point of this game? And so I played it, got pissed off at it, got rid of it. That turned into me owning six copies of that game until I finally finished the first one. In that time, though, I discovered RE2. And I pop in disc one, Leon Kennedy. And I see the opening cinematic for the game. And Leon's a cop. So I get the handbook out and start reading through to find out the background of the characters. Leon S. Kennedy. Leon Scott Kennedy. Rookie cop. First day on the Raccoon City Police Force. And this is what he's thrown into. A zombie apocalypse, basically. And I was like, whoa, I want to be a cop. Because Leon just seems so cool. So as a kid, I wanted to be a cop when I grew up. That never happened. But... And it was cool that Leon had the same middle name as me. Scott. Very cool. So I was like, Leon is my favorite RE character. He's always been. And I play through RE2 at my cousin's house. I never could beat it. And it was her husband's game. So he, he wouldn't let me take it home with me. And I was like, man, I can't rent it and have enough time to beat it before I have to take it back, you know. And then my cousin calls my mom. My husband said he'll sell that game to him if he wants it. He'll take $30 for it. And my mom goes and buys that game from my cousin's husband for me. 30 bucks for original black label double disc box brand new condition and RE2 is still my favorite of the series it holds a special place in my heart if you guys out there the game if you haven't played that you need to play it there's no other experience like it and then 1999 Resident Evil 3 Nemesis comes out and I get it for Christmas. And I start playing it. And you go through the RPD as Jill. You know, and I'm walking around. And Nemesis, the big monster, meets you at the RPD right as you walk into the gate. And I was like, what the? What? What is this? I can't kill this thing. I've only got a handgun. Oh my god. You know. <laughs> I waste all my ammo trying to take him down and die about 16 times. And then I realized, oh yeah, there's an option here to fight with the monster or run into the police station. So the next 17th time I went through, I choose run into the police station. I get in there, right, and I'm walking around, killing things and finding key items and things like that. And I go up to the second floor. I'm going up to the stairs. I go up the stairs, the loading screen plays. Then there's another set of stairs you go up. And right as I'm going up there, I go through to the star's office, get what I need in there, come back. As I'm coming down, I hear a window shatter. 
and this low music starts up. And I was like, uh, okay, this is weird. And right as you go to the bottom of the stairs, take a left, there's a door back there in the back. You have to go back through to get to the main lobby. As soon as you get about two foot from that door, Nemesis comes busting through the window with a rocket launcher. And guys, I'm telling you now, when that happened, I literally almost shat myself. I freaked out so bad, I threw the controller in the floor. <laughs> oh my god, holy Jesus, I'm gonna die! You know, but I make it away from him. Played that game, that was, other than RE2, that was the best experience I've ever had in a Resident Evil game. Resident Evil is an amazing series. So, after that, 4 comes out on the GameCube. And I was like, man, never owned a GameCube. Can't get it. 05, they release it in uh, PS2, on PS2. And I got it for Christmas that year. And it was the only RE game I had because I had sold my PlayStation 1. Didn't think to keep any of my games. So, I didn't know that, you know, PS2 plays PS1. I didn't know that. So, anyway, I'm playing RE4. Now, the original Resident Evil series, 1, 2, and 3, it had fixed camera angles, where the camera would shift every time you hit a new section of the, of the area that you're in. In 4, it was over the shoulder. You could see behind your character, and it was Leon. And I was like, yes, Leon's back! Killing zombies with a shotgun and, you know, a pistol. There's no zombies in 4. It's people being mind-controlled in a village with some distant church. Anyway, people that play Resident Evil, the fans, they really love 4. And I like it. I do. I like that game. A lot. But I don't think it's the masterpiece that everybody says it is. And that's just my personal opinion. I'll play it every now and then you know if I'm feeling nostalgic from the early 2000s and then 5 in 09 a rip basically a direct copy of 4 with a, a couple of new mechanics like multiplayer or co-op co-op with Chris Redfield and Sheva Alomar pretty good game Wesker makes your return from the original art ye and he talks like this and I was like, whoa, Wesker's done like became this awesome super villain. And then Six comes out in 2012. And that game, even though you had Leon, Chris Redfield, and uh, Ada Wong, the spy that Leon meets in RE2, that game had four different campaigns you had to play through, and it was a train wreck. Complete action, no horror, all the fear and suspense was completely gone from the series. And that started with 4. There's only two areas in 4 that are really horror based. And that's like uh, the area with Ashley. When you're walking through the dark hallway and the knights drop axes down at you. And then there's the regenerators. They make a sound that I can't copy but... <laughs> Dude, it'll grab you and be like, what is that? And you'll stand there for literally 10 minutes until you see it coming at you and you shoot its legs off and then the legs re regrow. It's like, what? You gotta get a special scope for your sniper rifle to kill this thing. But anyway. Six was a train wreck. Although it was a good game, it wasn't great. And then, 2017, Resident Evil 7. Is announced. I seen the trailer and I was like, hmm, this could be good, man. It looks really awesome. But they said it's gonna be first person. You know, Resident Evil had never really been a first person type game. But I played it, and I still play it now. But it's a great game, it really is. But it feels like an Outlast clone. That's what it feels like. And, of course, you know, I'm playing it, and I'm really enjoying it. <clears throat> and the first time I played it, I beat it. 
and I had fun with it. It's awesome. And but now, it's been out since 2017. I can play maybe two hours of that game and be bored of it. It doesn't hold my interest like like the classics one, two, and three did. But now, as of next this coming up Saturday, May the eighth. Resident Evil 8 Village comes out and it looks from what they've shown at the showcases at Sony and stuff it looks amazing I can't wait I'm super stoked and it's giving off some killer Bloodborne vibes now that's a game I want to talk about for just a minute it is a PS4 exclusive Bloodborne if you are a Souls fan, a Dark Souls fan, and you haven't played Bloodborne, get on it. It is hard. It will test you to the point. This is going to be a little weird. Let me tell you how <laughs> how adrenaline fueled this game got me, man. <laughs> so the combat in it is very fast paced very fast paced and you know you get your health back by hitting enemies after they attack you and stuff and there's a boss in, a boss in there a boss what kind of word is that some kind of german word huh anyway there's a boss in there called the blood starved beast i can fight that thing right now i could fire it up and show you guys that i'm fighting it and it'll take me two days to beat that freaking boss but it was my first time beating him <laughs> my adrenaline pumped so hard I sweated so much that I literally was sitting in here in my underwear trying to cool off while I was beating <laughs> but I got him I finally got him and then I get up to Mikolesh next to the last story boss of the game and then what happens my PS4 decides I don't want your save file anymore. And I lost all my progress. I could have I could have destroyed my room. I could have destroyed everything in here and just cried myself to sleep. I was so mad. <laughs> so anyway, but check that game out. Play that game. Play some Dark Souls too, man. Dark Souls is a great a great series. And if you like a challenge. Those games are it. Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and Bloodborne. And Sekiro. Sekiro is great. Now, back to Resident Evil. Resident Evil is my favorite series of all time. The movies are absolutely... The first two movies, live-action ones, are good. I really enjoyed those. After the second one, after Apocalypse, they really went to shit. And then the, the last one, Wesker, the most powerful villain in Resident Evil, dies by a falling door. Eh? I watched that and I was like, no, Wesker could take that door and just break it in half. There's no possible way that killed him. He will be back. Although, no more movies. Very action-based movies. They're not horror-based at all. But now, September 3rd, the reboot comes out. The Resident Evil movie reboot. And I'm stoked for that, too. And the next, the Netflix series, Infinite Darkness, that comes out in July. Check that out if you're an RE fan. And there's three CGI movies. Degeneration, Damnation, and Vendetta. All of the CGI ones, the CGI RE movies, are amazing. If you're an RE fan, give them a watch. And if you've never heard of that series, man, go pick you up one of the games. Even if it is 4, 5, 6, 7, just go grab you one and play it. There is one, Code Veronica. You can buy it on the PS Store in the um, PS2 for PS4 section. And you play as Claire Redfield, protagonist of RE2, the female character. And that game is the longest of the series and the hardest. Oh my god. Me and a buddy of mine sat here and got to the end. 
didn't have enough magnum rounds to kill the boss at the end and we had to start over that game's great 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 game check it out so what is it about resident evil that i love so much i love zombie stuff i love it and then there's strategy you have to think about what you're going to do in those classic games like what weapon's going to suit this situation the best that I'm going into. What weapons do I need to take to take on something like Nemesis? Especially the clock tower battle in 3. Um, I took, me and my buddy did a knife run of that game. And when you fight him at the clock tower, you're infected with the T-virus. With the and my buddy's fighting him with a knife. And uh, he dies a few times. He was like, here dude, you try it out. I'm swiping at him and Jill's dodging and dodging and dodging, you know, and bobbing and weaving. And then somehow I glitched that, I guess, and, he, and she just kept doing it. And I was like, oh, God, oh, God, I'm going to get him. And I'm standing up in my buddy's living room, rocking back and forth, sweating profusely. And then he dies and goes stumbling off into the fire. And I literally fell straight back on my buddy's couch. And he was like, dude, I thought you were going to have a heart attack, Jesus. I can guarantee you, I could never recreate that moment. But man, what a rush. So there's the strategy part. What weapons do you take with you for this situation, this enemy type, this boss? And then there's the uh, backtracking. You know, you, you return to uh, areas in the classic games several times. They took that out in recent years. Of Resident Evil games I like doing that and the difficulty when you put it on easy it's easy when you put it on normal it's normal then they have what's called a range mode and that's supposedly hard and it is hard now if you remember playing Mortal Kombat 2 some of you old-school gamers out there you put that on very easy difficulty did not matter in the Mortal Kombat series that arcade machine was reading your inputs it knew what you were going to do before you did <laughs> but yeah there's the backtracking in Resident Evil the strategy of it and the story about how it starts in a mansion a virus escapes from the lab and then the mansion explodes the virus goes airborne I think it was no 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 it was a uh, water supply thing it got into Raccoon City's water supply through rats. Then it infests Raccoon City. Over 12,000 citizens turned into mindless zombies, monsters, and mutated creatures. B.O.W.s. Bioorganic weapons. And then you play through 1, 2, and 3. 2 and 3 take place at the same time. But Jill's in one section of the city. Leon and Claire are in another section of the city. And then there's like a day that goes by in between those two games. But uh, at the end of the, the third one, after you defeat the final, mal the final malformation of Nemesis, Raccoon City is destroyed by a nuclear missile. And the song that plays at the end is amazing. And I sat there after I finished it, and I was just like, that's it. Resident Evil is no more, because without Raccoon City, Umbrella's brought down. There's no premise for Resident Evil anymore. Although, that was 99, they've continued it since. But there's the strategy, the story, the backtracking, the music. All the music in the classic games... Except Director's Cut, don't mess with Director's Cut. If you can play it, play the original. Play the remake on PS4. Resident Evil Remake. You can get it on the PS Store, usually about 20 bucks. Play that one. You'll get a feel for that music. But all the music in RE1, 2, and 3, just iconic. And the one other thing I left out, the puzzle solving. Oh my god, some of those puzzles. You really had to use your brain. And for all you 
Call of Duty players out there. I'm not trying to shit on it. I like Call of Duty too. But you know how you have your meter marker that tells you where you're supposed to go? Yeah. The old Resident Evils did not have that. Not whatsoever. You had to use a map. And if you were really brave, you ignored that map and just went exploring everywhere. That's what I did. So there's strategy. There's blood and gore. Zombies. Mutated creatures. The story. The music. The puzzle solving. And then the accomplishment that comes when you finally finish a Resident Evil game. Now there's all kinds of videos you can watch on YouTube that will, get, will explain the entire Resident Evil timeline. All the way. But there's a lot of holes in that. There's a lot of holes in the plot that don't make sense. But who cares, right? It's a video game. And if you want a great experience that you'll never forget, and it will stick with you for years to come, go play you some classic RE. Resident Evil is the best game series ever. And I'm so happy it's going as strong as it's going right now. And so let's talk about two more games real quick here. The Resident Evil 2 Remake on PS4 that came out in 2019. Me and my buddy were watching E3 that night. And this zombie pops up eating this guy. And I'm like, and he's like, dude, that's a zombie. And I was like, this has to be some Walking Dead stuff, right? And then I hear, boom! And the zombie gets shot in the back of the head. And there's a light. And my buddy goes, oh my god! And then it pans to Leon with his RPD uniform. I had to go to the bathroom when I was watching that. And I jumped up out of my chair and I was running around in here. And I thought I was going to just, you know, completely shit myself because... <laughs> because I had been holding it the whole time to see if they were going to announce a Resident Evil 2 Remake. And they did. They dropped it on us out of nowhere. And it says January 25th, 2019. I couldn't wait. Oh my god, that wait was agonizing. But then we finally get it. We pre-ordered it from GameStop. We go down, pick it up, come home, start playing it. That one puts you right back into that game all over again. It's nostalgia times a thousand but there's a lot of new elements they've added. I won't spoil anything for those that haven't played it. If you want to go check it out, please do that. It's an amazing game. You can get it on the store right now for 15 bucks. And then April of last year, they announced Resident Evil 3 Remake. And oh boy. I was so stoked. They finally remade the trilogy 1, 2, and 3 for PS4. To say the least here, RE3 Remake was a little underwhelming. I mean, it's a good game. It is. It's a great game. And it's fun to sit down and play through. But the puzzles. There's only two in the whole game that you have to do. Maybe two or three. Two or three in the whole game. And they cut out entire sections of this game. Condensed Raccoon City down to two streets. Come on now. And I played it. I still play it today. I like it. I love it. To see Jill again, see Carlos again, it's so cool. But it's not what it could have been. And I hate that so much. They had so much potential with this game. And they didn't let us down. They just underwhelmed us a little bit. So now they're saying... At some point in the next couple of years, Resident Evil 4 will be remade. It's coming. It's coming. I sure hope so. And I sure hope it's good. Because if it's not, and they screw that one up, the whole world's going to implode. <laughs> because of all of the RE fanboys that think it's the masterpiece, and there's no better game. RE4 is the only Resident Evil that exists. Give me a fucking break, man. Play some original Resident Evil if you want to know what challenge is. Suspense, fear, terror. Just everybody out there, 
go check out the original trilogy. If you haven't played it, you're missing out. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. And that's my story of why I love Resident Evil so much. It's got a special place in my heart. It always will. I can go over other games too in the future here. But everyone that watches this, I hope maybe you'll go check it out. And keep Resident Evil alive for another 25 years. Everyone have a great day. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. And if anyone sees this and has watched my other videos of me talking like this. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this type of thing. And if not, I can upload more guitar stuff. But guitars, horror movies, video games. That's my world. And I'm happy to sit down here and share it with you guys. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. Everyone take care. And have a good one.